Okay, Emily, just watch the clip again. Your piece, you've got some very good stuff in here. Let me just run through it with you. Um, when you'll see in the email that I sent you, what you need to do is put the director's name in brackets like this, and the title of the film should be in italics like that. When you're typing, that's how you lay it out. Um, Okay, so this um, explanation is fine, I think. Rue's death needs both a capital and an apostrophe. Yep. Um, I would say represent violence and danger. Um, you're right about the camera movements there. When you say this puts the audience on edge, I think you need to be referring to the director's intention. So you would say um, Ross uses this technique uh, to put the audience on edge. Um, and that's fine. Are we saying angles? I would say the um, the pace of editing is sharp and fast, which creates a sense of confusion or adds a sense of confusion to the scene. Is fine. Um, yeah, when it cuts between Katniss and Rue, and this particularly happens when um, she's on the ground, it's what it's doing is establishing a, a, a strong. Um, relationship between the two but it also gives the idea that this relationship because Rue is dying um, is in danger that it uh, it might not be going to last that much longer uh, sorry brief pause there yeah so the fact that a high angle is used again what's really important here is that you show the person marking this, that you know that these things have been done deliberately. Okay, so this is not just a film that happened to be Gary Ross and his cinema, his director of photography have used a high angle here. So Ross uses a high angle here, um, and then exactly to show Rue on the floor and suggesting that she's in a very vulnerable position. And yes, you're quite right. Sorry, just reading this as I go through it. Uh, let's say tempo of this music rather than speed. Can we not name this character? I mean, I know uh, another one of the tributes, something like that. Yep. So I'm using my mouse to show you where I'm reading at the moment. The sound of the flight of the arrow, yes. The whoosh, if you like, something like that. Very nice reference to depth of field. Rue needs a capital letter again. As Rue pulls the spear from her chest, or does Katniss pull it? I think Rue pulls it. Hang on, now I have to check. Yeah, you need to say that Rue pulls it. Very good point about um, 
And this intro introduces the bird singing, introduces a note of melancholy, and it fits in with um, the fact that both Katniss and Rue represent something uh, much more natural and innocent than everything represented by the other tributes and the and the capital, if you like. I wouldn't say editing is used very well. I would just say editing is used in the next sequence or in the next part of the sequence. Generally speaking, you know, it's always going to be good editing because they've got the best editors in the business there. Um, yep, good. You're okay, needs a capital Y. Yeah, she starts to sing because she's asked her to sing. So I would say that um, that um, is also the signal for the music changing. So a, a slight, um, a very sort of soft, non-diegetic music comes in there. Now, remember, it doesn't make us experience it because we're dying and we don't die so, but you say it you could say it, it encourages the audience um to imagine let's say that what rue is going through yes you're right innocence and purity now look i think there's a bit more to be said about this the, the actual death it's a very it's a very sad moment speaking for myself um, but it's very cleverly put together. So yes, here, let me turn it up a bit. You hear that note, that kind of high violin note that's going on here. So the mix of diegetic and non-diegetic sound this shot, the close-up on Rue's face, instructs the audience that this is what she is seeing. And as, as the visuals fade, as they begin to fade to white, Katniss's voice is lowered in the sound mix, in the sound mix which suggests that Rue's now unable to hear. It, the, the, it's sort of representative of Rue's senses fading. So just as she sees um, the, the canopy of the trees turns to white, also her hearing um, and our hearing of the audience's hearing Katniss's voice is replaced by the diegetic, uh, sorry, the non-diegetic soundtrack music. And at the moment where it's gone almost completely to white, it cuts back to the close-up of Rue's face. And it's very clear from this moment, and also, of course, because Katniss's hand comes across here, uh, that she's died. And this is where the kind of guitar, the rather uh, wistful guitar comes in. So I think you give it a little bit more analysis on this piece. Um, also, I'm going to attach a document about what Carl Plantinga calls the um, scene of empathy, which is when a shot lingers on a character's face. And this is a long shot for this sequence. If you you know count it down, this shot is on Katniss's face. It's a close up. We see her upset, obviously. And the audience are particularly brought into, um, encouraged to understand, to sympathize uh, with what Katniss is feeling at this point. So have a look at what Plantinga says about that and you could talk a little bit about um, the scene of empathy here. I'm just going to stop this and then record another one for you because it's about to run out. 